everybody, welcome to Just Stop Garage. Um, so, first off, I'd like to apologize for not having a video in so long. But today, we're going to be doing a video. So, we're going to go out and uh, show you a surprise and talk about that. I may have to get my jacket on because it's kind of a little nippy in here and I hate to think what's like out there. But yeah. Alright, let's get to the surprise. So everybody, I bought a new truck. Um, so let's start off with the engine size first, just to get that out of the way. This has got the 3.7 liter V6 Magnum, uh, which from what I understand is a very good engine. Okay, so uh, we're not going to talk too much about the engine because right now there's a little bit of problems going on with it. Um, they say the number four cylinder does not have all compression and um, ju it's just so no one else feels bad, Paul is the one that knows more about this stuff than me. So I'm just going to be his apprentice during this whole procedure of working on this thing. So what we think it is, um, judging by what other people told us, um, we believe it is a rocker or a rocker arm that is um, just not working properly or something like that. So we got to get that fixed. But other than that, um, there's really nothing wrong. Um, engine oil is pretty good. Transmission fluid's there. It's got washer fluid. It's got everything it needs to here. Um, but yeah. So got the nice Dodge emblem. First Dodge ever owned. Oh well, for me. You know, this is my truck, and this is the ones we're having problems with right now, which is not why I bought this truck. This truck I bought, um, part of the reason is because I got a new job. I bought this because this is a lot cheaper on fuel. This truck um, is about gets about 12 miles to the gallon, and I put mid-grade in my trucks. So this gets 12 miles to the gallon. This will get 22. The lowest this will go is 15. So anywhere from 3 miles a gallon more, all the way up, uh, roughly to about 10 gallons, well, 10 miles more per gallon, something like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it'll make a big difference. But overall, the body is in really good shape. And um, that one mud flap's a little bit busted, but no big deal. There's a little bit of rust under the door, uh, but that just lets the water drain out better. In all honesty, this is the major part of rust right here. So this is going to have to be cut out and replaced, but that is not a big deal. The bed scratched up, but what work truck isn't? This does have the spray-in bed liner which is really, really nice. Um, you know, tailgate's a little dinged up, a little rusted up, so you know, no big deal, we got a good clean up. The bumper's in good shape. This did come with the towing package, which is also full of gravel right now, which has loose gravel, probably from when they towed it. But anyway, so yeah, it's got a nice chrome-tipped exhaust, nice wheels. It actually came with three new um, center parts there. I don't know exactly what you call those, but yeah. So what does this have that I really like? This window opens up, which I really like. Um, these side windows on each side open up. And I like that because that's what Paul said um, he had on a couple of his trucks. Um, was that with that middle window in the back. And when you open that and then you open one of these windows, the wind just comes right through and it blows really nice. You know, rolling down the windows feels good. When you have the middle window open too, it just really, really, really feels good. Um, 
so yeah the other thing i like with this is the club cab now granted it's not as wide inside as this one so this one has more side to side room whereas this one has more room in the back to leave more space for things but yeah so my sister is actually nice enough to clean this out for me oh so yeah so one thing i like about this truck already oh, we'll go ahead and close the door so yes, one thing I like about this truck um, versus my truck, its speedometer goes to 120. The highest my truck goes to is 85. Um, so yeah. But yeah, everything in the truck works. The radio works, the cassette player works, which some of y'all might know, the cassette player is something rare on vehicles. Um, the air conditioning doesn't, which we're thinking, just charge it up, it should work fine, and then we're good to go. Um, but the cold air works, the hot air works, the, all this stuff works here. Um, it does have passenger airbag and regular airbag, so it does have all that. The only problem with it really is the ceiling is falling apart, um, but other than that, that's all that's wrong with it. Now, we're not going to talk prices because I don't want to let too many people know how much I paid for certain things, but it was under $1,000. Um, now, actually, I figured being I got the keys on me, I might not start it up because, well, it runs real rough right now, but... Ah, Oh, no, we'll fire it up. So, yeah, we have our key here. Put it in. So, wait for it to stop beeping. Um, it's got 206,276 miles on it. Um, it does have a lot of digital readout stuff, like uh, here, the park and everything. And, yeah, it is showing a little engine light blinking in the ABS brake light, but whatever. Okay, let's uh, start it up. So, it does run a little rough. Oh, I'll pop the hood open. But it's still fired right up, which is nice. Roll ahead and roll down the window. This does not have power windows or power locks and all that good stuff. Which is fine. Could I'd rather not have the power windows and power locks just because, um, not that it would happen, but if I ever ended up driving, let's say, in the wintertime, sliding into a lake or something, just one thing I learned for Pa is a lot, you know, you have a better chance of surviving with something like this. But anyway, so yeah. Got the engine here. pretty nice I think um, I said not the best but yeah but one thing oh yeah that's one thing else I want to show y'all too it does have a padded here instead of it just being plastic hard plastic it is padded the window actually cranks up and down pretty nicely so other things about this truck that I like well like I said um, I don't know if I like digital readout or not yet but whatever but this is a 2004 which is the best year of Dodge and actually it's something else this has but um hold on let me talk a little bit all right so this had, this is 2004 which is the best year Dodge um Dakota you can get because the engine so that's one thing that's nice about it that's the best um year other thing about it it's not four-wheel drive which I would have liked to hit four-wheel drive but you know I can drive in snow I think but like policy put enough weight in the back and the right size tires well not so much size but the right tread tires you can go anywhere um and the reason I know that is because he said on some of his older trucks he'd have the right side, right tires on the back and load the back of the bed up with some weight. And he went places some four-wheel drives didn't go in the snow. So, yeah. But um, one thing this has is adjustable for the cup, which is really nice. Actually, I forgot. That's a shop project for me, not for this truck, for the other truck. It does have on um, the 12-volt outlet here. Open this up. I mean, it is cracked on this side, so when you open it... Um, it does kind of want to break, but I'm going to get that fixed with a little bit of glue. That should fix right up. But you have this for the coins. You have this place here for pin. This place, I guess, is like maybe if you want to put tissues or something there, I guess. I don't know. Um, there's little things here to hold the CD. And another 12-volt 12 12 plug. So I can go on the Amazon or something, get one of them plugs to plug in here. It has the two USB ports on it and made the digital readout. And then I can set my phone in here. 
plug it up and let it charge. I mean, I can do the same thing there because you have storage here for something, storage here, which you know, your phone fits down there. A cup holder here, a cup holder here, and then storage again up here. Um, and this truck pretty much did look like this inside. I mean, like I said, my sister did do a good job of cleaning this house for me. But yeah, I mean, it was pretty clean. Then up here, we got storage here and here. Just something if you want to set something on the dash. Now, I'm not about piling up the dash. But, you know, if I want, I had to set up like a, a phone up here for some stupid reason. Um, or some paperwork or something. Uh, it just, it works good for things like that. Then, on both doors, you have storage here. Storage down here and storage down there. So that's nice. Like I said, the club cab part here. Oh! Hold the seat forward. All right, this is not going to go by itself. So there we go. And slide it forward. So back here on this part, um, flip this up. Now, there are supposed to be plastic covers for this, we found out, but this truck, for some reason, the guy pulled it out. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. I can fix it. There is a cup holder and um, another storage thing right there. But yeah, um, so it came with the jack, the tire iron, um, all that good junk. And there are seatbelt parts back here. So you know, hook up which i mean i sat in the back of this thing and pulled the seat back it's actually not bad sitting in the back of it so i mean it would work and then here's just pure storage so here you can keep things um like some other tools stuff like that but um you know i kind of like how this seat just you know grab it lift it up there's no latch nothing just lift up lift, push it back down so yeah it's very nice as far as that stuff goes and i you know i, I very much do like that but yeah, everything else, the lights work on it. Oh, don't get the sunlight. Um, the lights work on it. Uh, needs new windshield wipers. The windshield actually is busted. There's a little crack here. And then there's an even bigger crack over here. So yeah, and as you can tell by the windshield wiper, it needs replaced. I'm not sure. All right, that's also nice. See, my truck don't do that. My truck, the windshield wiper pulls up to about here. Well, about right there, I guess. And that's it. Well, here I show you. And you know that's one thing I've always hated about my truck. Is it windshield wipers? You have to see. And yeah. Versus this one, when it comes time to change the windshield wipers, when I wash the windshield, pull that up. There you go. And then you're done. Put it back. And as far as the windshield washer, um, compressors, well, little jet stream things. I can't think of what the name is right now. The, when I turned these on, it blew it clear over the windshield, clear over the roof, and into the back of the truck. So those work fine. They're not clogged up, and I know that is a problem. Problems. Brake line also is shot. i got to replace the brake line. Tires, they should pass inspection. I think the alignment is shot, so that's not... Maybe the alignment, you know, it's drivable, but it's going to need alignment. Uh, we're not sure which ones, but the brakes are kind of locked on in the back, because you can feel, you can hear it when you move forward. You can hear the brakes kind of grabbing. I think it's probably gonna need all new brake shoes. I'm hoping what I can do. Oh, well, actually, I'm not sure if it's brake shoes or brake pads. Probably it might be both. But anyway, um, so we're hoping today to get the brake line replaced because we are working both trucks today, actually. Um, so we're gonna try to replace the brake line today, get the brakes unlocked. If just replacing the brake line, getting the brakes moving again doesn't unlock it, which it probably won't. I don't know. Um, then hopefully, even though it runs rough, I can move it around. Um, just so I can like move it to wash it, clean it. Um, trade places with trucks or just kind of drive around and see what it's like and then we're gonna pop the hood open start taking um, the, some parts off like the valve cover so we can get to everything um, and get it running then we're gonna get insurance um, I'm gonna probably get a new windshield for it might as well go ahead and get it you know it's gonna take a little bit of time a little bit of money but because yeah I want to be able to I, I don't want to sink a ton of money into this and do like I did last year with my truck where all the money went to the truck and I didn't get to weld much of anything. I, mean, I had some welding projects, but you know, it was cheap stuff. I want to be able to build some nice things this year, maybe even get another welder at some point. So this truck, it's a priority I want done. However, I don't want to sink all of my earnings into this truck like I did that one. Now, if I had to, the engine it turned out to be shot, I'm probably not going to worry about rebuilding it. The engine's going to get out and I'm going to go buy one from a junkyard. It's got low mileage, which no big deal. Um, like I said, this thing has 206,000 miles, and other than that rust back there, it does not look it. I mean, really, it's it's nice. And from what we understand, the little Dodge Dakotas happen to be nice little trucks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. See you next time. Jay's Hilltop Garage.